you could be forgiven for thinking that the British Touring Car Championship is a level playing field, with all cars built to the same NGTC regulations, and the difference being made by the resources at each team's disposal and the driver it puts behind the wheel. And while on paper that's how it's supposed to be, do you really think manufacturers such as BMW, Honda, and Subaru would compete in the championship if they didn't believe they could beat the non-works teams? The regulations state that teams can either lease one of Toka's unbranded spec engines or develop their own, but those who run a works i.e. manufacture a backed engine naturally have more scope to optimize its performance. Speedworks Toyota driver Tom Ingram currently lies fourth in the overall driver standings photo Steve Hindle, the black stuff, so it should come as no surprise to find the standings dominated by the manufacturers, but that hasn't stopped two independent drivers, Tom Ingram Speedworks Motorsport and Jack Goff Eurotech Racing, from showing up the better fitted teams when the opportunity arises. And last Sunday, during the series' penultimate round at Silverstone, the opportunities were ripe for the picking. Eurotech Racing's Jack Goff scored his second BTCC race win at Silverstone photos Steve Hindle, the black stuff the weekend started with Goff beating Ingram to pole by a scarcely believable 0.001 seconds, heading a competitive field, where the top 22 cars were separated by less than half a second. Ingram took the lead from Goff in race one, romping home to secure his fourth win of the season, while Goff returned the favor in race two securing the first win for Eurotech since Jeff Smith took over the team. Both drivers finished the weekend with a horde of points first, second, and fourth for Ingram, and a second, first and ninth for Goff, with the Eurotech Honda Tiber outscoring the works cars of Neil and Shedden despite carrying 66 kilograms of ballast in race two. These results are all the more impressive when you consider the team's financial constraints. Rubbing is racing, especially in the BTCC, but for many drivers the damage they incur in a race could spell the end of their season, so those working to a tight budget must choose their battles carefully. Jake Hill left and Michael Epps right sit 9th and 10th in the independent driver standings photos Kevin MC Glone, Red Square Images The title race is set for its showdown at the next round Brands Hatch on 30 S.E.P.T.E.M.B.E.R. 1 October, where Ash Sutton Adrian Flux Subaru and Colin Turkington Team BMW will compete for the overall crown, but in many ways the real action will be further down the field as Ingram and Goff settle the independence title and their fellow competitors provide a fitting send-off to another vintage season. Don't miss it. Pictures Kevin M.C. Glonard Square Images, Steve Hindle the Black Stuff.